is I'm going to um, I'm going to dissect the theories that go along with why you do chi sao, and work them into drills that use exactly what you train in every day in Goju techniques. So the first thing we have to identify, everybody heard the center line, right? We talk about it all the time, we reference the center line. But the center line, a lot of people see it as just a simple line or a target. So they've used this as the center line. You defend along this line. And in fact, you have to look at the center line. To get the most out of the center line, you have to see it not as a line, but as a theory. Okay? And in this theory, there's actually four lines and one orientation. The four lines is the line of balance, the balance line that, that runs from the top of your head through your body all the way to the floor. It runs along the center of the spine. If you disassociate the line with your spine in some way, then you're starting to get into loss of balance. We see that in throws. There's kazushi. So you break the kazushi, the balance, in eight directions. Okay. Um, the next line would be the sagittal plane. The plane that divides the body into two halves, right side and left side. Um, and then you have the center line. The center line is the line that runs from the solar plexus to the extent of your arms, to the outstretched arms, at the, uh, to the edge of your fingertips. This is the center line. But again, don't see it as the line by itself. You have to see it as um, one of many lines. Then you have the line of attack, which makes up the fourth line. The line of attack is what links my balance line to my partner's balance line. So I can be standing in any orientation and that line is directly attaching the two of us together. Okay? Now, for the orientation. When I take my sagittal plane with my center line on the solar plexus and put it on the line of attack, I've unified all four lines. That's my orientation. This I refer to as my squareness. So I am square to my opponent. No matter how my opponent stands, I'm, I'm, stay here. I'm square to my opponent. I'm always square. This is what gives me the ability to defend my center line. And defending the center line is utmost important when you're closing the distance. If I close the distance and I leave my center line unprotected, I can run into coincidental damage. I can be intercepted by a punch or something. When I close the distance and I protect the center line, the engagement is more secure. Okay, so let's stop there and go into a drill. Dino, can I borrow you for a moment? You're going to get a partner, and you're just going to work on, on an exchange. Like uh, one partner will punch, and only the, the, the body. So if my partner starts punching my body, I'm going to get hit. Continue, just continue, like just free, free like free sparring. And when I'm myself, what I will do is I will defend my center line only. So as Dino's punching, just by using orientation and lines of attack, I'm going to move around my partner. My partner's going to be free to move too. So he's just going to try to square in, and I'm going to cover up my center line. And just play with protecting the center line with my partner trying to punch me. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah? Okay, get up, get a partner, and let's start.